in a study of 2014, Brendan Nehan and colleagues tested on a number of people which was the most effective way to communicate a message meant to convince a number of parents to vaccinate their children against measles, mumps and rubella, also known as MMR vaccine. So Nihan and team found 1,759 parents and divided them randomly in four different groups, to each a different message. Number one, information explaining the lack of evidence that vaccines cause autism. Number two, information about the illnesses prevented by MMR. Number three, images of children who contracted diseases prevented by MMR. Number four, the narrative of a mother whose son almost died of measles. Now, Which communication technique do you think worked best among these four? The answer, as you may have guessed, is none of them worked. Hardly any parent was changing their mind. On the opposite, some were even more convinced about some correlation between vaccines and autism. The phenomena behind this inability to accept the facts is known as Confirmation bias. It is an evaluation mistake that brings us to keep in memory only what strengthens our conviction and to ignore any information against it. It's the same bias, this one, at the basis of sexism and racism. I'll make a quick example. Situation. I do not have an opinion on foreigners. Today I read on the newspaper that a foreigner committed a crime. Day two. I see a foreigner dressing in a weird way. Day 3. My cousin Tom loses his job. He is then replaced by a foreigner. What happens in my mind now? I take three events that have no correlations and glue them together as an idea. Strangers are criminals and want to steal our jobs. Now at day 4 I read on the newspaper that locals commit as much crimes as foreigners. But the damage is already done. But of course, that journal is not authoritative. Day 5 I become aware that my cousin Tom was completely incompetent at his job. But come on, I know him, he can't be that incompetent. Day 6 A foreigner skips the queue at the supermarket. Oh, those strangers. You see what's happening here. Confirmation bias, confirmation bias. I consider only the information that supports my theory. And a similar thing happens inside anti-vaccinists' heads. Another thing that's creating a lot of confusion. Media. We see in television broadcasts which features doctors against politicians, against parents, against actors, and they all discuss about vaccines. What I gain from these broadcasts is a climate of general confusion, so I feel the right to believe at whatever I want. I consider authoritative the information I need to feed my confirmation bias, but actually the whole scientific community agrees that vaccines are good for your health. In these broadcasts the only opinion which bases on science is the doctor one, because his opinion is proved by the scientific method. The politicians, actors and parents' opinions are just opinions and they aim towards nothing. Talking about bad sources of information. Why so many people are convinced to know a method profoundly, albeit they gather information randomly about the matter? Answer for effect Dunning Kruger to scientists who said we are all confident idiots. Basically, we have an immeasurable and illusory dose of trust on our own skills and the conviction to own something that looks like knowledge. For example, I have read on the internet that vaccines cause autism. I know I'm clever. My information gathering skills never fail me. So this thing I've read here must be true. And the damage is done. Closing. Let's enter the mind of an anti-vaccinist. I have to vaccinate my son against something that hasn't been around for 60 years, a procedure that in some cases could provoke mild complications. I look up on the internet and I notice a controversy is in process. I find a bunch of information that confirms my thesis while denying the thousands of information that go against it. And if you too, my friend, are in doubt about the truthfulness of an information, then remember this statement. Whoever supports an affirmation must provide sufficient evidence. <laughs>